Let's look at Health of the Ladies again, this time let's look at the bases for the first time in this series of clips and the first time for my students as well. Uh, I've taken this box because this has a standard C sharp D bass setup um, with all major chords which many of you may have. If you're lucky you'll have a stop to take out the thirds from the chords or you'll have the chords removed or blanked off or just not there which means that your chords can be major or minor, can do duty as major or minor. They'll be neutral chords. Uh, a lot of you will have good old major chords, like on this box. Bass note chord. Very major. It has a third in there. So you can't play that against a minor melody. We're going to be using, um, if you have only major chords, we're going to be using only three chords, and we're going to be using these outer sets of buttons only. For this tune, we'll be using A, D on the push here, and E on the pull. So, A, E. Uh, we have a slight complication, is that we need um, A on the push as well, and that is available on most boxes here. So, A pull, A push. The reason for that is, the reason you have to have it in both directions is that on your D row, um, the note of A is on the push. So if you wanted to play an A chord against the note of A, you have to use the push chord. The other two notes of the A major chord on the melody, C sharp and E, are on the pull. So if you're playing those notes, you need a pull A if you're playing this note. You've also got the C sharp here very cunningly, so you can play a chord of A here. Right, uh, if we had minor chords, we'd probably throw in the odd B minor chord to make the accompaniment more interesting, but let's assume that we don't, so we'll just use this three chord trick of A, D, and E. Um, A being the tonic. E being the dominant and D being the subdominant, or 1, 5, and 4, if you like technical nomenclature. Right, let's just see. I'm going to show you now for this first look at the basses. The important thing is to get the bass pattern in your head before you start um, exploring and using bass chord. Uh, combinations. We'll just look at where the chords lie. And to make things really simple, we'll just look at where they lie on the strong beats. Because actually, in many places in this tune, or several places, you need a different chord for the offbeat um, from what you just had on the onbeat. Confusing, eh? So we'll just stick with the onbeats for now. Let's just say, if you started off... You could play a D major chord against your F sharp here as a lead-in. Now, A. That's the on beat. Now we need E. And then D. A again on pull. E. E. All E strong beats there. Back to the beginning. D, A, I'm a bit confused here, E, we finish with an A, so we're going to play our C sharp here, so that's the first part, D, A, E, D, A, E, The second part is very simple. It's all the A's on the on beats anyway are on the pull. That's A, D, A. Okay, again, A again. D. I'll start it again. So we go A, A, A. And 
the second time, this is the second half if you like the repeat. A, E, finish on A major push. A, To use your air button here because uh, on that second part there especially on a little box like this which is a bit leaky um, you'll be bellows will keep going out unless you bring them back in so I think we'll stop that first look at the bases here we'll do another clip to explore how to use different strategies to actually use the bass buttons and the chord buttons but for now, it's important to have the structure of the chords for the piece in your head. And by the way, this is an old Honer Lilliput accordion, which was probably made in the 1930s. Uh, it's a very, it was a kind of made for backpacking, apparently. Uh, stick it in your rucksack and go walking through the alpine meadows, and when you have your picnic, play a few tunes. Um, it's a two and a half row box. It's been retuned to C sharp D and this little half row here is actually in D sharp and uh, the work was done by a very talented restorer called Mike Rowbottom who lives in beautiful Cornwall in England and uh, you can probably fix you up with a lovely little box like this if you look for him on the web.